All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's here. This is our new go-kart. And it is, I don't even know what to think of it. <laughs> but it's a, a Ford Focus. I don't know what year it is. I can't actually remember. But uh, let's see, it is a 2003 Ford Focus. Four door, it's automatic. Everything is there, except that flat tire. I'm just gonna air it up, so I got this thingy, this air thing. I guess when they forked it, and the, they forked it, and they tried to put it on a trailer or whatnot, as you can see, it drug the ground and packed this full. So, I'll get a little bit closer so y'all can see it. But yeah, it's like packed full. So I'm gonna have to cut that off before we like, we crank it up, it runs. It's got an exhaust like in the front. Uh, it's got a little chatter, no big deal. Um, so we are going to, I don't know exactly the plans for this thing, but we're gonna try and uh, do something with it. We wanted to make it a go-kart. We want to make it, we want to lift it. We want to try and do, maybe do a gambler in it. Um, and uh, I don't know. I don't know the plans. I don't know the exact plans, but it does crank up and run and drive. If it's to grab a saws, I'll cut that exhaust off real quick. Oh no. Oh, okay. Whew. The key was in it. And I thought the door was like, the door's just kind of tough to open. Who needs doors? We, we know that from the last go-kart. Okay, here's the key. Let's see. I'll just crank it up real quick, just to kind of show you how it runs. It's got 288,000 miles on it, I think. We can check. 200, yeah, 228,000 miles, my bad. This is, it's got an exhaust leak back there. So there is some exhaust coming out. <laughs> it's not completely jammed up. You can hear it, there's an exhaust leak in the front. I'll just cut it off real quick. Not exactly sure what that is. <clears throat> Pop the hood on it. It is nasty. This was bought at a sale. So, Ooh. it's actually not that bad. It uh, it blew this um tube off the valve cover when we crank it up the first time or when Jonathan crank it up the first time which brings me in to so you guys all know Jonathan from Coleman Auto Rebuilders uh, he is the one that purchased this vehicle and dropped it off here and we are like I said we don't know exactly what we want to do with this vehicle yet but we are leaning more toward the go-kart just from the looks of it but we're going to get into that as soon as possible. Uh, we are not going to attend the night ride tonight. I did a video last night where we put a snorkel on the Jeep. And I tried to edit it, but there's something wrong with the video format. I'm not sure what happened, but I tried. I have two editing softwares, and I was going to use my new editing software, which is like really good editing software. So I put it in there and tried to edit it. And then I tried to edit it in Vegas, which is what I've had forever. Because the other one, I don't really know a lot about it. So I know a little bit about video editing, but I don't know a lot. So I tried to use a new video editing software, and I'm not sure what happened. But the video is kind of messed up. So i got to figure that out. I may have to uh, just scrap that video. I'm not sure. But we was working on the Subaru, and we was going to get it ready to go to the night ride tonight. But it, it needs a little bit more work than we have time to do. And we don't want to push the Subaru's limits because the Subaru is like one of the best vehicles we've had uh, with this deal. And Jonathan was the one that, sp that sponsored that build. And we didn't want to mess that vehicle up. Um, like like you do see us drive around here pretty often, but we don't do anything crazy with it because it is a sponsored vehicle. And it is a gambler vehicle. We don't want to tear it up. If we do tear it up, we want to tear it up in the gambler. We don't want to tear it up in the yard doing some crazy stuff. So... <laughs> A little more work to that than we thought we were going to need to do. Like, we got to change the oil, and we don't have the oil filter and the oil and stuff like that. And the gamblers tonight, we could go get it, but uh, we just have so much going on. So, I'm not sure about um, 
doing that just yet. Plus, we've got this vehicle, which Jonathan from Kulmanalo Rebuilders bought us. So, uh, now we got this to work on. So, the Subaru can wait on that. And besides the Subaru, when we was working on last night, we were trying to fix the uh, Jeep, which we got done. We put a snorkel on it and a winch. We just basically put a, a, a winch mount, which is a receiver hitch on the front. And then put the winch on it, mounted it, put it hooked, plugged up the battery. Uh, thanks to Dylan. Dylan did all the wiring and stuff. But John is pretty happy about the. I guess he's pretty happy. He's out right now. I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to use it today because we the, all the controls are working on it and everything. So John's out there doing that right now. So Coleman Auto Rebuilders link will be in the first link in the description. If y'all could go check him out, his Instagram and his uh, website will be linked there. He sells cars and you know for anybody local or you know any not even local you can be you know just on the internet i guess and just buy a car i guess you could be from another state and buy a car i'm pretty sure he's had that <laughs> so anyway if you want to buy a car from him he sells good cars and uh you just go check him out first things first let's air that tire up and dylan locked the shop and he's not home so I'm not sure how I'm going to get in there to get the saws off, which is in there. <laughs> huh. Works. Well, the cigarette lighter and the go-kart don't work. Surprise. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, drive my car down here and plug it up to my cigarette lighter because I know it works. I hope it works. this thing going it's pretty loud I wish Dylan's shop was up and I would just use his air compressor because it's always full of air I could go in there and just air it up real fast but uh it's locked <laughs> Dylan should be home not too long so I guess we could just drive it around test it out uh, oh man I need to cut the exhaust off dang it Dang it! <laughs> well, that didn't freaking last long. <laughs> I literally pulled my car up there and put everything up and walked down here to the shop to open the shop, got it open, and the tire's flat. <laughs> Dang it. Things running a bit rough. <laughs> I'm pulling in really fast. I don't think it's very healthy to be driving that thing with a closed exhaust. Oh yeah, she ain't got no power at all. Feels like it's got a miss. The check into that one. Oh god! Get the door open. Throw the window down. <laughs> Put it in reverse, Terry! Oh no. I wonder if the exhaust is gonna catch. Maybe it will. It's up pretty high. Oh God, that's to the floor. Let's try this. Okay. With the rest of them.
Yeah, I'm not sure. They ain't got no power. Brakes are down. Oh shit, it's got power going forward. Hell. Alright, we're just gonna try and pull it in forwards. So I drove it for like two seconds and the mist started clearing up. I'm not totally sure what might be causing it. Maybe spark plugs or something. Maybe the spark plug wires is undone. I haven't really looked into it. But it's, it's, it started missing again while I'm sitting here. I pulled it in forward so I could change the tire on it. It does have a lot of miles, so. We shall see. <laughs> Maybe it's something simple. Maybe. I don't know. It's got any freeze. Uh, let's check the hole. It's trans. Here's the hole. All right, don't have water in it. Don't have water in it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's wipe it off with something. Okay, wow. No, so no oil. <laughs> Doesn't have any oil in it, so we're gonna have to put a little fuel or fuel. I'm gonna have to put a little bit of oil in it. Okay. Um, So I just took the rear tire and put it on the front and the spare is pretty decent in this car, I guess. So I just stuck the spare tire on the back uh, just for temporary because that tire right there is not holding air. We're not sure why, because it looks like a brand new tire. And also when I was cutting the exhaust off and earlier, I looked on that tire on the back side and it's showing wire on the inside. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, I was trying to twist this thing so I let the car down. Yep, a spare tire has some air in it. Neat. Oh, now we got a tire. Now, on to putting oil in it. It does have antifreeze. I'm gonna make sure it has brake fluid. I'm gonna check the air filter. And I'm gonna pull these spark plug wire. I'm gonna make sure I actually have it on there. Whew, hot. Yep, 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 yep. Looks like they're all on there too. So it's missing. So I'm gonna pull the spark plugs out and see why it could be missing. If I don't get the video from yesterday working, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and explain in this video. So if you've already seen that video, if I did upload it and you already seen this video, just don't mind this part. But we're going to replace this with rubber hose. We're going to put the, because we pulled the air box off to clean it and uh, to make sure nothing was actually broken in the air box. Everything's good with it. So we're going to put the air box back on, hook everything up back to it. We're going to get some rubber hose because this, we did a smoke test on it and there's holes all in it. And 
I'm sure it's from hitting like this sharp piece, this sharp piece, because it was ran through here and this piece. So it wasn't the best idea, but it was what we could come up with with a day to go to, before the gambler. So it was a really good idea, but we're going to need to go with rubber hose. We've got to change the oil. Um, make sure all the fluids are good. We got to check the fluids in the diff. This is because we was going to take this to a night ride uh, tonight, but we are not able to because there's just so much to do on it. And we got to, this is just sitting up here. This is not um, actually bolted in or anything. I just set it up here, but we got to re engineer this snorkel. So everything is good through here with the snorkel. I just got to put the rubber on there. Tighten it down, and there went the zip ties. And then redo this. We're going to silicone it, tape it, like, put it back down in there, self-tap it in, and then silicone around it, silicone around this, which this is fine. I glued that with the cement glue or whatever you call it. And we're going to run a thing, and we're going to actually put a, uh, not this. <laughs> this comes off, that came off John's Jeep. We're going to do a thing where it's actually snorkel. Dylan wants to come all the way back here to this first part and then run the snorkel up there. It's a little bit higher and it'll catch more airflow. And uh, yeah, so that's just the deal with this thing. I mean, we gotta fix the tire. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. We think it came unseated from the bead because there's so much mud that was in there. Cause when he hit the mud hole, it just kind of rocked and it looked like it rocked this into a rut. So we're pretty sure that's why it lost air cause the lip's kind of bent right here. So yeah, we gotta, Beat the lip back down, put air in that, and make sure it don't leak, and put it back on the car. Right now, it's just got the the spare tire on it, but uh, the rest of it's fine. But I'm gonna put it back together, roll it out, because this is gonna be a couple day job for us to get done with that before the next gambler. We're gonna roll it back out, park it back in its parking spot. If you're wondering where the old go kart is, it is still sitting in the same spot up there, but the uh, problem with it is the um, it's just broke. <laughs> Can't get it running. So yeah, gotta fix that. Or well, we're not gonna fix it. Uh, that go-kart is done. So we busted the windshield. We just played around like threw, threw stuff into it. Like threw a hammer into it and stuck it into the windshield. So basically the next thing we're probably gonna do that is hook it. When we get the super done, we'll probably hook it just to have some fun with it. Hook it to that and drive it around the yard and see if we can get it to actually flip over. But uh, if it gets flipped out, if, it, if we do that, that's fine. If not, we're just probably gonna cut it up and just use it for parts or whatever, but we'll stick it in the back where the dead cars sit. And uh, one day we'll sell it or haul it off for scrap or something, I don't know. <laughs> and also another update, um, I do have a Civic and we are gonna build that into a gambler car eventually, but it needs a motor or this motor rebuilt. So we're not going forth like we're not gonna do this uh, immediately. We're gonna take our time on it. We're gonna put it in that shop with the go-kart sitting right now. We're gonna lift it, we're gonna put those tires on it. Big old mud tires. And um, yeah, build into into like a proper gambler car, sort of like uh, what Slightly Mangled did with their Honda. And they've been through six gamblers with it and that's pretty wild. So we're, we thought about doing that, building a Honda and getting it done and um, putting lights on it and stuff, just make it look cool and doing gamblers with it. I think that would be fun. This, however, it's probably just gonna be a go-kart. I don't know what else to say about it. It's it's misfiring pretty bad, like I said, and I'm just gonna take the spark plugs out and pour some oil in it and see what it'll do. But unfortunately, I just don't know if this would make it. It's got so many miles on it, so I don't know if this would make it as a gambler. And make it too far anyway as a gambler because it's already like like you stomp on it and it like doesn't have any power it would barely climb over that little piece right there to get inside the shop so uh we gotta see about that maybe something to do with the transmission it could be low and it's just not letting it drive it's like slipping or whatever but we'll check it and go from there but yeah we'll get to work on this and i'll catch back up with you in a minute well uh, we took the Ford, as you can see, it's not here. <laughs> uh, the first ride was a bit of a success, but also a bit of a fail. Uh, we had a little bit of fun in it. I mean, me and Dylan. Yeah, I know he left it. Probably. 
But uh, me and Dylan over there went to uh, drive it around or whatever. It was super fun. Um, we was having fun pulling an e-brake, and it was running on like three cylinders, what it sounded like. Sounds like the coil is bad, is uh, what Dylan was saying. But we unfortunately had to stop, and if you don't follow my Instagram, go follow it and check it out. And there's like a funny story on there on that. So go check that out. But the converter was glowing red hot. It was insane. And uh, it was quite funny. But we thought it was like the O2 sensor. And then like Dylan like looked away because he had a light on his head. And he like looked away and like the whole converter's glowing red. So converter is definitely stopped up. So we're going to gut that thing and go from there. Thanks again for coming Auto Rebuilders for uh, sending us this vehicle. He just... Pulled it up in the old front yard, dropped it off. So that's pretty cool of him. <clears throat> like I said, links to him. First links in the description. Go check him out and show him some love for giving us a content car. <laughs> also, Jonathan, if you're watching this video, we want a big old fat sticker of Coleman Auto Rebuilders and we'll stick it on the windshield. It's like a few, like a Fig Newton sticker off that movie, Talladega Nights. I think that would be pretty cool. We've got a ton of ideas for this thing, so let us know what you think we should do, and we shall try and do it if it's reasonable. We're not going to be reasonable. Oh. So, yeah. Let us know, guys. Oh. Peace.